All right. Hello, students. Today I am going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Jamboards to create your never before seen city. So, first, you are going to go onto your Google page, and here on the far right, you're going to click on that. This is where you have all of your Google apps, also known as the Google Suite. And if you scroll down, you are going to find this Jamboard right here. So, you're going to click on Jamboard, you're going to open that up. Now, I would suggest just one student from your team to open this and create it and then share it just like you would share a Google Doc. So as you can see, I've already have a lot of Jamboards on here. But if you go to the lower right hand, you'll see a plus sign. So go ahead and click on that plus sign. And what you are going to do now, you have a blank Jamboard. So this is your first board. I would give it a title. So let's give it a title. I'm going to do my, I'm going to call it my practice uh, NBS city. So I'm just going to practice. You're going to put your own name, uh, whatever city name you wish to come up with. All right, let me show you a few features. First of all, I don't want to have a white background. I want to make it more interesting. So maybe I make it blue. I can use blue. I can choose to make it black. Or I can even add an image. Now, sometimes the images don't quite fit, so you want to be careful. So I'm going to go to Google. And you know what I really love? Uh, the ocean. I want our city to float on the ocean. So let me type in ocean. Let's see what comes up. Oh, let's see. Oh, I kind of like that one. Oh, I don't know. All right. Well, let's go with that one. And I'm going to set that as a background. All right. Like I, as I said, see how it doesn't quite fit the screen. So I don't know if I really want that. So I can go back and clear the screen or just clear it again by going up here. And let's just stick with a traditional blue. All right. Now, one of the things on the criteria that we have is that you have to have at least four pathways. That means four roads. So you're going to go to the side here. And here on the circle, you can click on the little icon here. And actually gives you a couple more options if you click on the arrow. So I like to use the bar. So here the bar, I can actually make my roads. I can make them thick or I can make them thinner. So I'm going to make them nice and thin like that. There you go. And I'm just going to duplicate that and move it down and duplicate it again and now I can move this so that I can change a little bit of the orientation let's see if I can move that mm -mm -mm. oh there it is okay so I can move it this way and that way I can have it more of a diagonal there you go and so here's my road and of course I can shorten it up and I'm just going to use some of those features that are, I already know so I'm going to put my, my roads right here. All right. And I'm going to make my map. All right. So let's say this is how I want my city map. Of course, I want to uh, talk to my teammates, make sure that this is where we want to have everything. Now, I highly suggest you also put numbers. So I could put, uh, so we know which sections you are. So maybe I'm going to add a, a one right here. And you could change the color of your font here. Just go up here, change the color. There's section one. And here's section two. Again, I could change the different colors. I could still change the roads, right? If I don't like how it looks and so forth. So I'm gonna keep adding. Okay, so now I need to decide, well, what does a city need? What do I want in it? Well, I think a city definitely needs uh, places for people to live, right? So we call those the shelters. So then I'm gonna work with my team and ask, where should people live? Do I want them on the outside? Do I want them in the center, right? So where do I want people to live? So let's say we want to have this uh, in the center. All right, so now I want to decide, okay, well, I want to have a futuristic home. So I'm going to add an image, and let's just say I want a futuristic, let's say futuristic apartments. Let's see if something comes up, right? Uh, let's see what, oh, look at that. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. Oh, I think I really like this one. So I'm going to talk to my team. Maybe each member is in charge of a different section, and they're the ones who are going to put the images, find them. And I also want to add maybe some information. So maybe I add a sticky note, and I put, uh, you know, apartments. And if you want to give credit, you know, you put your name next to it so we know who's doing what. And so you have a little sticky note there. You can put it there. You can add more details later. All right, so now you're going to talk, 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 and you're going to ask, well, what should we do about transportation? 
or we need to have a some type of uh, never before seen way of, of monitoring. So do we want to have police or do we want to have cameras? Do we want to have robots? Do we want to have a, uh, you know, how are we going to protect everyone in this city? So all of these are conversations that you have with your group and then you start to create your city. Now, let me just show you what other teams have done. So if I go to my Jamboard here, I'm going to show you just a couple of ideas that you can have to help you out. So here you'll see some of my classes and what they've done in the past. And you'll see here how they have the name, they have pictures, they've labeled even the names of their street. They have, again, uh, different areas here. So this is just some ideas uh, of their future type of uh, city that they have. And they're going to then later on explain it in a deeper manner. Now, how do I share it with others? So I go here to share. And I, I need to get everyone's email. It has to be a school email, right? And it has to say down here. So if you change it, anyone with the link. And I want to make sure that they're an editor, not just a viewer. So it has to be an editor, right? So I go up here. And let's say I want to add Miss um, LeBrun here. So I'm going to ask Miss LeBrun. OK, and I want to make sure that she's an editor. And I could add other students. So let's say I want uh, you know, somebody else here. All right, right. And I'm going to make them an editor. And now they can actually type and do something on there. All right, so that's pretty much it, class. That's how you do this. You're going to share this Jamboard with um, your teacher, either me, Ms. Garcia, or with Ms. LeBrun, so we can see what, how you are doing. All right, thank you very much, and have fun.